Hey guys, it's Tilly, and it happened. It finally happened. I broke my book buying ban. And I was doing so well, that's how frustrated I am, and I just have such a weak mind when it comes to buying books. I was, I was trying so hard, but there was 15% of the Barnes and Nobles of the band classics at Dimmix, and how could I say no? And since I was gonna break the book buying ban, I thought I may as well throw in like two or three other books as well, because if you're gonna do it, you may as well do it gloriously, am I right? So this video is gonna kinda be a mix up of a few different things. I have got an unboxing to do, which is the YA Chronicles Echo Wild Box, which is A Court of Wings and Room, which is a third book in Sarah J. Master's A Court of Thorn and Roses series. And then I also have some of the books that I bought from a Dimmix event that I attended. And I also have one book on here which I got from one of the publishers So I'll go through this list and show you guys what books I bought and you guys can totally comment below on what bets you guys won Because I only made it five months six if you want to kind of like drag it out a little bit more So firstly we'll start with the Dimmix event. It was at Dimmix June to Love and this is the first time I've ever done a YA book club And it was so so good plus the added fact that I got to win a copy of A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas This book has just was just released on the day that we had the book club as well So it was like super exciting the book of the month was Stranger Dreamer by Lani Taylor I have been in a reading slump though so I haven't actually managed to read it yet But it was still a really fun night and I will leave a link to their Instagram and their Facebook page below if you guys want to check them out and support them as well and if you guys are in Perth you guys should totally attend it too. Now for books that I actually bought at the event the first one was Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kemmerer. Cool. It's about a young girl called Juliet who writes letters to her dead mother and leaves them by the gravestone and one day Declan Murphy who is pretty much just like bad boy tough guy I'm guessing starts to read these letters and begins to respond to them and they have this correspondence but little do they know they actually know each other in real life so it sounds like it's gonna be a real like good girl goes to bad guy kind of typical story that I'm a total sucker for. Next up we have the book that I broke my book buying ban for. I have actually been eyeing this off for a while but they're pretty expensive books and at the Dimmings event they had 15% off all of the classics and I swear like one of the girls just narrowed her eyes down to me and just knew that it was going to be my weak point. Cool. And it was, it was. And the one that I picked up was Les Mis by Victor Hugo and it's just like the most stunning copy I've seen of this book yet. And like the gold trim pages and just the cover and just everything about this is so so stunning and I don't want to open it or touch it or read it because it's so pretty and I just want to put it on my shelf and stare at it for like 60 years. Now for the fun part, so Dimmix has also just started doing blind dates with a book so I picked up two of them and I'm actually going to open them on here for you guys now. So what I'm going to do is I'll I'll read out what the little hints are first so you guys can try to guess it by the time I've opened it. So the first one says a badass heroine, complex sibling relationship, retelling of history slash royalty set in an unconventional Eastern Europe and it is a YA fic and I actually guessed this one, like I think I guessed it as soon as like I got home so I was kind of like if it's what I think it is I already own it but like the second book comes out soon so I can just like re-gift it to somebody or burn it. I'm kidding, I like the book, I'm not gonna burn it. It's like Christmas all over again. I just love getting packages. Oh cool, you guys wrapped it twice, thank you. Haha, <laughs> it's Anna Darken by Kirsten White. I do actually own this book, but I know one of my friends wanted to read it, so I will give that to them, but I thought this is what it was gonna be. And that's the second one, I literally have no idea what it is. So it says, sweet and scorching romance. Greek mythology, politics and adventure. Kingdoms rise and fall for you. That's kind of messed up. A smart mouth soothsayer. <laughs> A promise of fire, the Kingmaker Chronicles by Amanda Bouchette. I haven't actually heard of this one before. This actually sounds really, really interesting. It sounds like it's going to be a really good fantasy. So basically it's set in a world where there is this all-powerful queen who is just ruling everything but really mean queen. So like, it's it, people want to rebel. And people do choose to rebel. And there's a young girl called Kat who has these hidden powers and she's hiding and she ends up being discovered by the rebellion and they want to use her to help fight the rebellion. If you guys have heard of this book before, let me know what it was like and if you guys enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna like it, but it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just really weird that I actually have never heard of this book before. So let me know what your thoughts are, guys. As for the next book, I'd like to thank Text Publishing for sending me this one out. If you guys didn't know, I absolutely love Text Publishing. They're just like such a wonderful company and everyone that I deal with is so nice and they have so many great books and I'm just so thankful that they sent me out Still Life with Tornado by A.S. King. I have heard about this book and I've heard many great things about this book and I'm very excited to read it and although like I've read the blurb 
countless times. I still don't think I can put it into my own words, so I'm going to read that out for you guys and try to be quick. 16-year-old Sarah can no longer draw, not a pair, not her own hand. It's a problem because as long as she can remember, she has made the art. She might be having an existential crisis. Why can't I say that word? Why else is she suddenly running into past and future versions of herself as she skips school to wander the urban ruins of Philadelphia? Or maybe she's finally waking up to the tornado that is her family. The tornado that six years ago sent her once beloved older brother flying across the country for a reason she can't quite recall. After decades of staying together for the kids and building a family on a foundation of lies and domestic violence, Sarah's parents have reached the end. As Sarah herself often observes, nothing about her pain is remotely original and yet it still hurts. I will leave a link to that one down in its Goodreads description. I will leave a link to that one below the Goodreads link shall be there. Why can't I speak? I will leave the Goodreads link down in the description below for that book. And the last thing that I got to show you guys is the Accordal Wings and Run book box. I have already opened this because um, I really, I couldn't wait. As soon as it came in, I was at work and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just, I can't, I can't, I can't. But there are so many good things in here. You guys should be very, very excited. So first up, we have a candle from Cool & Co. It's High Lady of the Night Court. It smells freaking fantastic. I actually counted out how many bookmarks I owned yesterday and there was 167 bookmarks and now I have four more to add to my collection just from this box. Really beautiful artwork which has the quote I am yours and you are mine on it with a silhouette of Feyre and Reese. And one of my all time favourite things is ribbon bookmarks and this one has wings on it and it's just really really nice and in green. Oh, next up we have a sticker of Reese and his kitty kitty cat. Look at how adorable that is. I wish that I had a sticker wall. Maybe I need to do a sticker wall. Next up we have a big bag with the quote on it, one life may change the world. My life will change the world. And to carry all the great things that were inside of this box, you got a tote bag. And on it it says, to the stars who listen and the dreams that answered. Y'all should know that quote. Y'all should know, know it. You guys would have heard of Charlie Bowater who does some of the most fantastic artworks out there. And this is a small poster of her favorite and rice sand drawing. And it's like literally one of my all time favorite pictures from any fandom. It's so stunning. And it just has the characters down to a T. And it's just really, really great. And now for the actual books, I have another paperback version of A Court of Wings and Brawn by Sarah J. Maas. This is going to be the one that goes in the shelf that doesn't get destroyed because I have like really dirty hands half the time and I like to to fold my pages. And lastly we have the absolutely stunning and beautiful edition of A Court of Wings and Ruin in the hardcover and it's just so pretty, the colours, the detail, everything. It's going to look so, so stunning on my shelf with all of its other family members. Thank you to The Wire Chronicles for putting together another fantastic box. You guys have truly surprised me and I have so many goodies right now, I'm so excited. So I might have broken my book buying ban. Bold. So there you guys have it. I guess I might be doing regular book hauls again. I don't know. I'm still going to try not to buy as many books as I usually do because money is apparently a thing. It's like, wow, being an adult and having to buy things with responsibilities. It's ridiculous. So there you guys have my second book haul slash unboxing slash publishers being nice to me. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Until then, have a lovely bookish day. Bye.